What's good everybody, it's CocoPower430 here and welcome back to the channel. So, as a Godzilla fan and someone who enjoys creating Pokemon challenge videos in his spare time, I thought it'd be a fun idea to combine them and make a Kaiju challenge video instead. So, I'm here to figure out how fast I can get a Platinum Trophy that has been eluding me since 2015, and that will be getting 100% completion on the PS4 Godzilla game. This game came out when I was just starting my senior year in high school and man, getting this game for the first time I couldn't stop playing it when it first came out. You have to remember that back then, the last console Godzilla game that was released was Godzilla Unleashed, and that game came out on November 20th, 2007. So I have to go all the way back to my days at elementary school to remember the last major Godzilla game that I played. We need a remake of the Pipeworks trilogy as soon as possible. Anyway, enough of the trips down memory lane, what even is this game about? Well, Godzilla, or Godzilla vs if you want to be more specific, is a kaiju movie simulator where you play as various monsters from the Godzilla universe and go on to either destroy or defend cities, take on other kaiju, and destroy generators. And I mean a lot of generators. So this game almost feels like an homage to the Godzilla Generations game that was released on the Dreamcast. Whether or not that comparison is a good thing is up to you. Also, this is the only Godzilla console game that currently has a Monster vs. Godzilla in it, as the 2014 movie was still fresh in everyone's mind to think that this is still the only time we've gotten the Monster vs. Godzilla in a console game is depressing. I know we have Godzilla Battle Lines and the other Monster vs. games, but those are mobile games. I'm talking about seeing him in new games that could be released on the PS5 or Xbox Series X or something like that. The latest representation I could say that we got was the Call of Duty Vanguard Warzone event that sees Godzilla x Kong all the way back in 2022. And to think that Shima was teased in the middle of all that as well. Who would have thought? Regardless, I thought it'd be fun to play this game again and livestream my journey to getting every single trophy in the game. I already had made some major progress on the trophies, only needing about 6 more. But I thought it'd be more exciting if I just reset my progress and start all the way back from the beginning to see just how challenging this Platinum Trophy can truly be. Does the PS4 Godzilla game still hold up nearly a decade later? Let's find out together, shall we? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as we are only a few subs away from hitting 500 subscribers. The fact that last year I had barely reached over 100 subs and here we are on the verge of over 500? That's insane. I can't even put into words how everyone's support means the world to me. So thank you all for being on this journey with me. And shout out to the constant viewers who were with me during the live streams. You can catch the edited live streams in a playlist in the description down below if you want to see the full journey for yourself. But let's get started with day one. Well, what's good, everybody? It's Coco for Thirty here, and welcome to day one of me attempting to 100 percent or 100 percent. Oh my god, 100 percent the PS4 Godzilla game. I was excited to restart the game again after not playing it since 2019, and on day one the memories came flushing back to me. The starting intro with Godzilla and the other kaiju facing off, the opening with Godzilla coming ashore, and the tutorial that I couldn't show due to the Godzilla theme playing over and over again, but seeing that in black and white to get that classic 54 aesthetic was a rush. So on day one, I went through the main campaign like normal, and here's where I'm going to explain what the main priority is for Godzilla's campaign and basically everyone else's campaign when it comes to invading. With Godzilla, the main focus should be on destroying as many things as you can to grow in height. The main way to grow in Godzilla is to destroy buildings, tanks, helicopters, generators, do side objectives, and defeat other kaiju, which will unlock them after in the evolution menu. If you get a chain going, in this case it's called Fury, you get more meters obtained and have a higher energy rate. So basically, all that means is, the higher your fury rate is, the more larger you grow. And sometimes in some levels, you can grow to nearly 20 meters in one level. So it really is worth it to keep that streak going. Also in the game, you have areas where you can take videos of Godzilla to use as data files that are present in all 25 of the levels. So the game forces you to replay the main campaign over and over again to get 100% of the data files to not only get a trophy, but unlock the main ending of the story. In my opinion, it's usually best to rush into the area to destroy as many things as possible once you get 100% of the files then go on to get 100 plus meters on Godzilla all while hoping the kaiju that show up are at least manageable to defeat. Now what the heck do I even mean by 
hoping the kaiju are at least manageable to defeat. What does that even mean? Well, in certain areas during the normal or hard path, Godzilla can come across a kaiju that is not its normal height, but instead could be 100 meters long, as shown whenever the announcer says, we have a strong one. This can either be really good or really bad, depending on what monster you are using. In my case for day one, since I was barely level one with Godzilla and haven't evolved him into gaining new moves, facing a monster at 100 meters early on could easily take me down just by spamming the same move over and over again, which I'll get to later. Luckily on my first playthrough, I did come across a single 100 meter kaiju. It was able to unlock Mothra, Rodan, Biollante, Mega King Ghidorah, and Batra. So for the first time I played the game, I made a good amount of progress to help me get these kaiju leveled up. However, I can say the same for my next playthrough, where I had to come face to face with death itself. The handbook. You got like a kaiju employee handbook over here? A powerful creature. Alright, another 100 meter one. Two, two in normal mode. Why are they showing up in normal mode? All right, you know what? I, I know who it is. It's Gigan. This one for sure is Gigan. If it's 100 meters, it's Gigan. Or it could be something worse. It's Destroya. It's Destroya. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There are certain kaiju in the game that will always be 100 meters if you are unlucky and encounter them during a playthrough. Destroya, Kiryu, and Godzilla 2014. These three will always be tough to face, and since I had just gotten new moves to use a Godzilla, I thought for sure I was doomed to lose. But defeating Destroya here could help get the process going of getting all the kaiju max level much more manageable to obtain, so I had to play smart and hope for the best. That, and that just kills you. That move literally can one-shot you. Run. Run away. Oh god. Wait, I need a cool shot. Get back. Get back, you hellish beast. Oh my god. Get it. Get back. I'm gonna use it to, I'm gonna use a generator. I literally use a generator to cover myself. I do not care. It's destroyed. Oh my god! God, these shots I'm getting with destroy are 10 out of 10, by the way. I just want to point that out there. I'm getting so 10 out of 10 pictures. Oh, I missed! No, I didn't! Oh my god, he ran into me. Why, Godzilla, why did you grab him? I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner. I don't like being in the corner. Godzilla, please. Godzilla, stop. Go away for him. Godzilla, no, we were so close. Oh my god, he charged at me and I hit him. How did I beat him? How did I beat Destroya? That is insane. Beating Destroya was really intense. I mean, if you get really unlucky, you get trapped in a corner and you're basically done for if you are really underleveled. And by attaining over 100 meters and getting chunk of the data files done, I was finally able to progress to the last missions of the game. And boy, were the last missions intense. There we go. Oops, I kind of killed a Gotego before I could face whoever was going to show up. Oopsie. Rodan and Super Mega Godzilla. What is happening here? What in the Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla 2 BS is this? Alright, we know the drill. Oh my god, Rodan just immediately shows up? Rodan, and he's 100 meters? 
Get here, Rodan. I'm on the brink of something. We already know the intro because we saw it. Fight with each other. Oh my god, please. Rodan, don't be so rude. No, that was it. That was the hundred. That was 120. Well, 180 is not bad, but they are really being really annoying. Rodan, fight Mechagodzilla. I can't move. I barely got it, but now I'm probably going to die anyway. Just do a Rodan. I need to really stop doing that. Poor Yoda. Oh my god, please. Rodan. Rodan, why? That one move is just gonna be the death of me. It is cheese. It's really annoying. Especially when they keep spamming it. Bye, Rodan. Okay, good. Two evolution cells? Really? It should give you three. You. He's on one HP. Kill him. Yes. Oh my god. How annoying. Can't show that. Copyright. <laughs> Good Godzilla uh, theme copyrighted. I think even on Twitch, if I try to stream this on Twitch, I'll probably be like, hey, uh, hey, uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. For the final mission, Godzilla had become overcharged with G-Energy and started to melt down. So the military is going DEFCON 1 on us to beat Godzilla before he destroyed the entire planet. That is, until another kaiju wanted to arrive and take us down. Another kaiju. Who is it? Oh shit. Uh-oh. Hey, he still left of me. Oh, God. Wait, he wants to fight the Super X3. Yes, brother. Together. I think I destroyed it. But this is it. The final fight. Between Godzilla and Godzilla. Yep. We had to defeat the MonsterVerse Godzilla as the final boss of the game. And Gareth Edwards Godzilla is no joke, he is a tank. Being able to combo monsters to death and having powerful moves that can easily take you down if you get unlucky. I knew exactly what I had to do. Just spam my atomic breath at him until he went down. Yep. Sometimes spam is the only way to beat these kaiju, especially when they're over 100 meters and can stop your face into the dirt. He's bullying me. He's bullying me. Can 
Back it up. Back it up. That's such a cool shot. He's one hit away. Smack him. Okay, there we go. 2014 has been defeated. Ooh. That was scary. That was scary. Oh, the ending. With the ending finally complete, the first day went pretty well, unlocking a total of 14 new kaiju, with Godzilla 1964 being a PS4 exclusive. That doesn't count towards the figure trophy, but will be max level alongside everything else at the end of it all. That meant I'll only need 6 more kaiju to unlock, which will happen on day 2. Day 2 Day 2 nearly played the exact same as day 1, going ashore with Godzilla, collecting the ring data files, defeating different kaijus who unlocked them, and then finish the story to obtain some more 2014 cells. However, after I defeated my first campaign walkthrough, I decided to try out some defend, which is all about using allied kaiju such as Mothra Larva, Mothra Adult, Mega King Ghidorah, Super Mega Godzilla 2, Kiryu, and Jet Jaguar. The game mode plays the exact same as the campaign, but instead of destroying cities, you're actually there to protect the cities from different kaiju invasions, all while attempting to stop the kaiju before they destroy 50% of the city. Sounds simple enough, right? However, for some kaiju, there's a clear difference on which ones are the strongest and which ones are sadly the weakest. And that power scales off the charts when it comes to one kaiju in particular, and his name is Mecha King Ghidorah. Mega King Ghidorah in this game is the most broken kaiju I've ever seen in a Godzilla game. The only comparison I can make is how Space Godzilla was in Save the Earth. If you know, you know. Even at level 1, Mega King Ghidorah wiped the floor with everything. Even Destroyer in Godzilla 2014 stood no chance against this broken character. For the next few days, I would just use different kaiju that go through the campaigns over and over again to either destroy or protect humanity. And that's the main core of the game to be honest playing as 22 different kaiju, going through the campaign, leveling up the kaiju by spending evolution energy and various kaiju cells, then going back into the campaign and trying to level up some more. The only other options are online play and another game mode called King of the Kaiju, where you go through 6 stages defeating different kaiju to get 3 trophies. One for being in the game mode in other 10 minutes, one for under 8 minutes, and finally the toughest one to get is being in the game mode in under 6 minutes. That's a trophy I had yet to get until I decided to use Mega King Ghidorah to take on this challenge. Yeah, you can see why MKG is one of the best kaijus in the game. Some people even beat this game mode in 2 minutes! How is that even possible? Holy 
William. Mega King Ghidorah has won. Repeat, Mega King Ghidorah has won. Are you serious? Finish in six. And now we need only six more left. Wow. What is it? Okay, three online, figure collector, and kaiju master. Okay. But with only two difficult trophies left, with the last three being associated with online play, I felt pretty confident that I could get this done in at least a week or so. I even decided after day six to take a mental health break and go to San Diego to relax and chill on the beach side. I mean, I'm sure by rejuvenating myself to the grind that I have no problem completing this game, right? Right? Two weeks later. I know it's been nearly two weeks. Let me explain. Um, you know how I had that post saying I was kind of burned out, trying to look for jobs, doing this in the process. I kind of got burned out, so I decided to go on a vacation to San Diego, which was fun. I had a real fun time, but immediately, right when I got back, I felt rejuvenated. I felt ready to go. I felt, you know what? I'm going to stream every day, so for the people that miss the streams, they can get, you know, something in return. And I took a nap, and right when I took a nap and woke up, my throat clogged up and I got sick for a week. You can still kind of hear it now, but it's more of the fires around me that's causing my my um, congestion to swell up again. But I'm fine. I'm I'm healthy now. I'm ready to go. And yeah, sorry for everyone who missed the streams. I really am sorry. I don't know how I got sick immediately coming off of vacation. It was just a really nasty cold where I couldn't even talk for like two days because my throat swelled up. It was really bad. Yeah, right after I got back from vacation, I got sick which let me out of commission for two weeks, which was annoying because it not only delayed the Godzilla streams, but also delayed a lot of my other content as well. So I had a lot of catching up to do, but I was ready to grind again and make sure I can 100% complete this game. However, with Godzilla Versus, as I said before, there are good kaiju and there are some bad kaiju to use. Barlante is an example of a fun kaiju to use that can easily grow to 100 meters and take down a kaiju quickly. And 2014 is a tank, but we've already been over this. Then we got kaiju such as Destroya, Mecha King Ghidorah, King Ghidorah, even some others I consider fun to use like Rodan and even Angiris. But then we get to the bottom of the barrel, which I consider the big three of despair. And those three kaiju are Mechagodzilla 1, Mechagodzilla 1 2.0, and Space Godzilla. These three kaiju are some of the worst in the game, for various reasons. But what do I mean by that? Well, let's start with Mechagodzilla 1. At first glance, it's shocking to see just how bad Mechagodzilla 1 is in this game. In the movies, he's a one-man army that handled both Godzilla and King Caesar at the same time. And even in the game, the other Mechagodzilla Zara defenders are very good as well, with Super Mechagodzilla 2 being able to tank through hits to deal massive damage. So why is this one so atrocious? Well, in the later stages when MG1 gets 100 meters, it's actually pretty usable. But for the early stages getting to that point, oh my god, it is such a chore to get any Fury Street going. He moves so slow and can't take a punch, and the only saving grace it has is using his R2 to create the Neon Barrier Defense Shield to have some time to recover health. But even then, if he face a Kaiju, who is 100 meters, you're just dead, and there's nothing you can do about it. Look how big Monther is. Even with my defense, I can't do anything. Oh, she's behind me. And I'm dead. Oh my god, no, not this move. She's behind me again. Oh my god, what is happening?
Oh my god. Hundred meter Mothra. Pain. So much pain. You may have long range attacks, don't get me wrong, such as his missiles and his beam, but when they can't stun anything, most of the kaiju can just tank it and charge at you, leaving you forced to absorb a massive amount of damage and hope that you can survive. But imagine all that, right? Imagine you're frail, you can't take a punch, and your only saving grace is a shield. Imagine all that, but making it worse. Megazilla 1 2.0 is the exact same as the first one. Why do I feel they had to add this kaiju into the game? We could have had more unique characters added like Megalon or even King Caesar. I will never know. But this version of MG1 is actually worse. The barrier doesn't even last as long as a counterpart and can be easily broken by a more powerful kaiju. Even kaiju that are on the same level as you can break the barrier. So it makes me question, why is this thing even added into the game? Megazilla 1 2.0 adds absolutely nothing to the game. Literally zero. But I would rather sit for three hours playing through each of the invasion campaigns back to back with both versions of Mega Godzilla 1 than ever use Space Godzilla again. Boy, oh boy. Where do I begin with Space Godzilla? Did I? I didn't, I didn't hit that. Wow. His moveset's really weird. It looks pretty good, but then it's like, ooh. <laughs> so much stuff to use. I don't know what, yesterday I was watching the Raider game, after we won, I was just like, oh my god. It, it, it bullied me so much, I was like, I gotta, I gotta chill out for a minute. <laughs> I gotta breathe. I was so flabbergasted that we won. I was like, this can't be. I had to sit down and be like, did that actually just happen? Lamar! I can't believe they lost. How did the Ravens even lose that game? That's the most shocking thing about it. So all you're gonna do, Batcher, huh? Stupid ass move for a stupid ass 100 meter monster. And I got hit by something. I got hit by something. The stupid. The ship in the back killed me. Oh, I. Oh, what's the range of this thing? I guess he's gotta be right next to him, huh? Okay. Space Godzilla. It's gonna. You're, you're, you're just gonna die. You're just gonna die to stupid Batra. Oh my god. Oh boy, that's why Space Godzilla kind of sucks in this game. He is awful. He is not like in uh, Save the Earth where he's overpowered as hell. There we go. Okay, the range is a little bit weird. I tried to do it on Batra, it didn't work. I guess for here it does. Sure. Oh my god. The move does literally zero, by the way. It does nothing. It does nothing. It does nothing. And look what he's doing now. He's got me in the corner. Wait, that, why am I using that move? It's so bad. Throw me a bone, game. Nope, you're, you're not going to throw me a bone? You're going to keep spamming this one move over and over again? You, okay, you need a f*** oh. off. Oh my god. What, what, what can I do? <laughs> what the hell can I do? They spam, and I get unlucky, and they beat the shit out of me. They put me in a corner, put me in timeout, and stomp on my face. I mean, it'll be okay. But again, there's really only a few things you can do with it. Space Godzilla, hit. 
Space Godzilla. Hit this thing. Space Godzilla is going to get bullied by these people because he has no moves that can really reach him. Space Godzilla can't move his hands because he's too tiny. See, like, because I can't, I can't hit them. I swear to God, I'm trying to hit them so hard. I can't hit them. Mechagodzilla, I mean, Spekagodzilla. Space Godzilla just cannot hit anybody. Unless you're, like, right in their face. Hey, look, look at this. There we go. I have to do that every single time, and these jets are going to kill me. I really need to stop using that tail move because it just doesn't do anything. It's too slow. It's way too slow. I'm getting bullied in the corner because I can't move. The reach. The reach. I have tiny hands. He's got tiny arms. Imagine having tiny arms. This stream went from like, I, I appreciate Space Godzilla to like, I never want to see this thing ever again. And any Godzilla movie video game <laughs> too much space Godzilla we had that in save the earth and unleashed in the comics and everything I do not get I do not get the I don't get it you know what I mean maybe I'm just a boomer a Godzilla boomer I just don't get space Godzilla the oversaturation with space Godzilla is ridiculous See, that's what the move is supposed to do. You see what damage Mega Godzilla took? That's what it's supposed to do, but it never does that. It just never does that. All right, you know what? It took me like an hour and a half to defeat this with Space Godzilla. With Mega Godzilla 2, it's gonna take forever. And almost an hour and a half with Space Godzilla. Dig. That's so rough. Yeah, I have nothing more to say about Space Godzilla. He's just atrocious. And if you look back at the playlist, every kaiju that I used, regardless of evolution level, would easily beat up Space Godzilla. Every single one. He's just a joke in this game. If you use him, expect to have a bad time. He is just worthless. But there's another element to this game that adds quote unquote hours of gameplay into getting 100%. And that all revolves around finding one kaiju in particular, or in this case, a mecha. Jet Jaguar is used for literally every single kaiju. I know that you have to use all of the kaiju cells to level up and max out each kaiju fully, but for Jet Jaguar specifically, his parts are the most important thing to obtain, as they help level up the temperature gauge, which is used to do a variety of things, but mainly think of it as your beam storage. Having two or three of your temperature gauges unlocked can make fights much more tolerable, as you have more chances to use your R2, which uses a temperature gauge, which for most kaiju, the move acts as a shield against any damaging moves. However, there is one major problem with Jet Jaguar. Besides using him constantly over and over again in the defend game mode, which is not fun, as Jet Jaguar is pretty bad in this game, not on the level as the Big Three of Despair, but barely above them in that category. The major problem in this game is that Jet Jaguar rarely shows up during the campaign. You can meet him up to a max of three times, and to this day, I don't know how to get a constantly. Maybe it's a me thing, but I just don't know how to get him to arrive when he's in a certain area. Just take for example Area 16. In Area 16, Jet Jaguar is always guaranteed to be there no matter what. And when I use monsters like Burning Godzilla, he appears. Did I read the bonus condition as well? To get him? I don't know. I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna do it regardless just to see. I got the bonus. And I'm already at 100 meters. Wow, that was quick. That was easy. Okay. Now what? Generator. 
Okay, so you show him now, but for Mega Godzilla, when I did the exact same, maybe it's just a time a timer that I just don't know about, where it's like you gotta get Jet Jaguar in this amount of time. He's behind me? Poor Jet Jaguar. Poor, poor, poor Jet Jaguar. Oh. There we go. However, when I use kaiju that are slower to destroy an area, he never shows up. I've noticed that with kaiju that can destroy areas at a rapid pace, Jet Jaguar shows up consistently. But I'm using slow kaiju like Mega Godzilla 1, Space Godzilla, and even Hedora. Jet Jaguars are taking a break, I suppose. Doesn't feel like showing up. Cool. I bet there's a certain list of things you need to do to accomplish in a certain amount of time to get this to work. But if anyone knows how Jet Jaguar acts or what priorities are set to where I need to complete them in a certain amount of time, please let me know in the comments, because even to this day, I don't know what to do when try to get Jet Jaguar to appear. But this is what made the grind so long to do at times, since if Jet Jaguar didn't appear, I would often have to go into the fen and waste an hour and a half of my time trying to complete that campaign, when I could have gotten the same amount of cells in one area that I could get for doing his entire campaign, and in my opinion, that is just ridiculous. At max, you could get 6 Jet Jaguar cells in one campaign, but compared to his actual campaign, you can only get a max of 3. That doesn't make any sense. Really? That's kind of ridiculous. But that was the grind for the next few weeks, using different kaiju, hoping Jet Jaguar shows up, getting the evolution energy going, and buying the figures and evolution levels to make progress on the two trophies. But first, let's see if we can upgrade people. Let's see what I can do. Who can up who can upgrade right now? Godzilla, back charge. That's very good. Jump attack, finally. Finally. That's also very good. Nine. And ten. Okay. Godzilla is officially done. Godzilla is fully evolved. He's basically. Max. There you go. Perfect being. An achievement. We are making moves. And then I need to get everybody else to... Yeah, apparently I never got this achievement back in the day when I used to play this game. How do I have over 30 hours of gameplay on this game, but I never once got this achievement? I will never know. But anyway, we're down to only 5 more kaiju left to max out. Let's try to finish strong and end this as soon as we can. What follows is a brief construction montage.
KO! And that's why Mega Kika Door is broken. That right there is why Mega Kika Door is the most broken kaiju in the game. Look how it just easily one shot me. I don't know who's who's actually playing this game still, but you know what? Kaiju Master. And where's the other achievement? Hello? I got every single Kaiju. Did I actually look through all of them? Oh no, I just go through here. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. I've earned all figures in Diorama. And unlocked every single Kaiju to max. Oh my god, we are here at the final last three achievements. Everybody's maxed up. Everybody's ready to go. I don't even care. Let's get into versus mode and try to win one game. Now, at first I was pretty worried because I didn't think I would find anybody to actually duel with. Considering this game is what? Almost nine years old? That's insane. But to be honest, I didn't expect that finding people would be the least of my worries as actually having to do the online matches were pretty interesting to say the least. Oh, that was my mistake. That was my mistake. This is so funny. Oh! No! <laughs> it's so funny. There we go. 0-1, oh but who cares? Let's keep going. <laughs> it's so funny. Keep it going. Batra Larva, go. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Who the hell is this? Batra, why are you so bad? <laughs> this is so funny. I'm having so much fun. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so funny. Honestly, this is great. I love it. Go, Jet Jaguar, go! But you know what? I might highlight this section. Because this is what I mean 
when you have Godzilla and then the rest of the characters. Jet Jaguar is terrible, right? But let's say you're trying to make like a weird online hybrid game. They really can't compete with Godzilla or the other S tier Kaiju. Because they have no moves that they can use, they're slow, and they basically get combo. You know what I mean? So this is why I love the game, don't get me wrong. But like, if they put a little bit more effort into giving uh, the Kaiju that they had in this game more moves to use, then I feel like it probably would have been better. Because imagine using Space Godzilla where he turns into his crystallized form. Or, you know, having the ability to actually do something as Jet Jaguar. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the the amount of stuff that le was left unchecked, considering this is supposed to be like a kaiju movie style simulator. It feels it feels really weird considering this move this game came out like what? In the PS3? I mean, yeah, the PS3 at first. But it was so bad, it's so unfinished that this is the newer version. Which is like it's still really bad. You know what I mean? It's still awful. Yeah, Save the Earth is... I mean, Save the Earth is a fighting game. This is like Godzilla Generations. With a little bit of weird fighting implications. I don't get it. Because watch, I can't... Can I move back? No, I can't. I'm stuck like this. Because Anguirus can't move back. Godzilla can move back. He has his 180. But like, again, a lot of these kaiju you cannot use at all. They're just not that good. Oh! He's a point since Godzilla has more moves he can use and has more stuff he can shield with. I'm basically kind of dead. I'm just doing this for memes. I'm doing this to get 10 matches. But you get my point? I mean, look at this. I mean, look how bad uh, Mega Godzilla 2 is. I can't do anything. Godzilla could just infinitely combo me because all he can do is have his moves. And even if I do this, right? Even if I do this, we'll just back away. It's like, look at that. It's really funny. I get what they're trying to go for, but if you just gave your Kaiju a little bit more moves to use, I feel like this game could have been a lot better. But personally for me, I still love it. But I would not recommend it to anybody since it's like expensive and you can't find it anywhere. It's literally gone forever. So like, what, what can you do? Oh. Right, five. Oh. But yeah, it's still really fun, don't get me wrong, as a kaiju movie simulator. But the fact that they attempted to make it a fighting game, because that's that's the weird thing. They kind of advertised it like it, but it is far from a fighting game. You know what I mean? It's very, because, you know, Godzilla versus. Who's he fighting then? It's versus, right? So you can fight the game. Yeah, literally. The only, the only good character is Ryu. <laughs> it's literally, I mean, look, I'll try to use, I'll try to use everybody else to see, and it's rough. Oh! But yeah. Do we actually have that? Uh, 2007, I mean. My bad. Oh. Oh. No, guy good. <laughs> guy good so bad. You know what? I might change it. I might put uh, guy good in F tier. He can't do anything. <laughs> he is struggling to even do anything. But yeah, I just want to point out I'm using all these oh. bad characters to show. Yay, got the trophy. One more to go. All I gotta do is just win one game, win one game, win one game. All I match is BB. Oh, we got a game. God damn it, Godzilla, get off the get off the screen. Why are you double clicking your mouse? But to be honest, the online mode for this game, I can see why I never touched it when I was growing up because oh my god, it is absolutely ridiculous. There's a clear power scale on which kaijus are great and which ones are awful. I mean, my goodness. But after getting my second to last achievement, all I had to do was just win one more game. And after two months of streaming, I have finally done the impossible. He missed. She missed my latte, no. Oh my god, and that will do it. That's it. Every trophy unlocked in the PS4 Godzilla game. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, finally. I hope you all enjoyed this video of me attempting to obtain the remaining trophies in this game to finally unlock the Platinum. I know I didn't go over a lot of the trophies that I already attained years ago that are sort of miscellaneous, but to be honest with everyone, if you're not a hardcore kaiju fan, I would not recommend getting this game. 
Since it's unavailable in the PS Store, the prices on this game on Amazon or a local video game store are just ridiculous. If I didn't buy this game on day one, I probably would have never attempted this challenge in the first place. But if you're new here, consider subscribing as we're getting closer and closer to 500 subscribers. Again, I can't even fathom how we got here in the first place. But I appreciate the support, and to celebrate, I'm going to go and remake the Gamera video that got taken down, and I'll hopefully have that uploaded on Halloween. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out on that video. Also follow my Twitch, it's the same username as this channel, as this is where I'm going to be streaming the Pokemon Leaf Green Deathless runs, and other random games when I'm bored, so the link will be in the description down below. With all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch everybody for the next one. Later everyone. And where is it? Where are you? There you are. Finally. I'm done. No more Godzilla. Until the Godzilla ranking video and Gamera on Halloween. Alright, bye. Now, really bye, bye, bye.